My name is Jeep Radlows, and I've been a volcano photographer since, uh, well, about 1982. I started out on Maui, and Maui was a little bit crowded, so I came over to the Big Island. And shortly after I got to the Big Island, uh, Pu'u'o'o started the eruption in um, January of 1983. During the early eruptions, I was more of a of a viewer. Um, I would just watch it. I was I was mesmerized, but from a distance. And um, you know, I would take photos from from afar, but I never got really up close and personal. Um, until Kupayanaha started. That was a, a lava lake nearby Pu'uoho. And I would often walk into Kupayanaha and be on the edge of this lava lake and experience the, the molten lava and the, the lava rivers. And I was pretty much hooked the first time I did that. And it, it really moved me in a way that I thought I need to stick around and, and uh, really focus on the, the volcano and the lava. And I did. Yeah, one of my best selling photos, I call it transition, and it is the lava on Kumoamoa Black Sand Beach going through a coconut grove. I just stopped in front of it. I only took two frames, um, and it was on a 6x7 format film, and that has gone on to be one of my best selling shots. I know I got a couple calls for people wanting to buy it yesterday, and um, it sells every day, so I'm very pleased about that. The other day, a huge lava flow going through a coconut grove in someone's yard, a friend's yard where I was staying actually. Um, important for him to have and you know, sad for us all to see. But it's just part of the story of Kilauea. It's, it's going on all the time. I mean, after that's all done, when it stops, it'll go somewhere else where there's coconut groves. Volcano has a lot going for it. Um, one thing I really like about Volcano, I like the weather. I like the diversity of, of uh, goes from sunshine to mist in moments. And um, the weather is something I'm very attracted to because I'm more of a misty mountain kind of guy than hang out on the beach and sweat. And after 15 years on Kahana Beach, I was ready for to be cool. It's fun to wear clothes. I like to have a long sleeve shirt on, I like to wear pants. I like to put a coat on and a hat. Um, I'm very attracted to all the green, the ferns, the, the lushness. And then you throw in the eclectic community of the, of the volcanoites, and it's a great combo, the Aina and the Ohana. I think we're about 28 miles from where so-called Fisher 8 is. But up here, there's, there's the, the vent activity, um, the Halima'u Ma'u collapse. So that's what's going on here, and it's not anything anybody can see. It's, it's, it's hidden within the park. It's not that visual anyway. Um, it's amazing, but you know, it's a different story than what's going on in Lower Puna. But Volcanoes um, got a great community, and I've always loved the people up here, so to be a resident of Volcano uh, was very meaningful, and I enjoy it to the day. My most famous photograph is probably Pele's Heartbeat, which is uh, a, was a new vent near Pu'u'u'u, and I captured an exploding um, bubble of lava about 30 feet across and it went into the shape of a heart and that was on film so it was a couple weeks till I got to film back to see it but it's kind of chicken skin to see that and during the recent event I photographed about four hearts in the lava uh, one of them taken from a helicopter looking down 3,000 feet into a fountain of lava that was in the shape of a heart and then as it flows there's a torso it's like a torso of a woman going into almost a mermaid bottom and then um, just last week I was photographing the fountain in Fisher 8 and it was in the shape of a heart so I always like it when that happens. Um, it just it just feels good to, to capture a heart shape in, in anything but especially in hot lava. My name is Brad Lewis. I am a volcano photographer living on the Big Island of Hawaii and um, I've been here since 1982.